Hi, I am Laurel. I am the regional trainer and one of the infant hearing screeners for the Simcoe Muskoka Perry Sound Infant Hearing Program at RVH. I have been doing newborn hearing screening now for over 17 years and I'm really happy to say that our program safely reopened June the 1st. It has been a very busy month of June. We screened over 850 babies to recover from the temporary closure in our program due to the pandemic. Now, just to speak about some commonly asked questions in this program, um, the first would definitely be, why do I need to access newborn hearing screening so soon for my baby? So preferably by one month. The program and the equipment that we use is actually designed for newborn sleeping babies. And as we all know, they sleep a little bit more at a younger age. With that, when babies don't pass newborn hearing screenings, they should see the audiologist for diagnostic testing between six to eight weeks. If the baby is too old, awake, alert, it is very possible that testing cannot occur. When they are diagnosed with hearing loss, we want to ensure that they access all services as soon as possible to avoid any delay or disruption in developmental milestones. So these are definitely all the reasons why you should access hearing screening so soon. The second question that I hear often enough, my baby responds to sounds, why then should I access newborn hearing screening? So although response to sound is a great sign that they're hearing, it is not a clear sign as to how well they are hearing. Hearing screening, diagnostic testing is actually meant to catch any level of hearing loss, mild, moderate, severe, profound, unilateral, just the one side, bilateral, both ears. So that's why we still suggest that you do newborn hearing screening if they are responding. I hope I've provided you with some information today and I do hope to see your baby by one month, um, but they have up until two months and then they age out of newborn hearing screening. Have a great day.